Hello friends, welcome again to our channel. This is Dr. Antoine Yungeko, your coaching data analyst using R2. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate your panel of data. So I'm going to show you how you can calculate mean, median, variance, standard deviation. I will also show you how you can perform some visualization. And I will also show you how you can make box plot for your variables. I'm going to use the same panel data that I have been using while making presentations on panel data analysis. The data set is related to 32 countries from sub-Saharan African countries. The period covered is from 2009 until 2021, which means 13 years. Variables include inflation, unemployment, and gross domestic product for those countries let's go uh, and i will show you how you can make those the descriptive statistics that i have mentioned found this video helpful i invite you to share this video and to subscribe to my channel not to miss the next videos on panel data models and some other videos that i will produce this comment is just to indicate where I saved my data. This comment you see here, friends, this is for importing my data in RTD working environment. This one, let on this comment. Then I can show you how variables are. This is to see first element. I want to see 15 elements. Look, friends, here. As you can see here, I have the first country. This is the names of our variables. This is country, year, gross domestic product, inflation, and employment. And this is for Burundi. 2009, 2010, and until 2013. And I also I can also show you how uh, my data set looks like by using this comment view. This is where I saved my data, my panel data. This is where I saved my panel data. Okay, friends, this is my panel data. You see how it looks like. You see, for instance, this is a Burundi, and you see this is the year, and you see the, the gross domestic product for 2009, this is inflation for 2009, and this is unemployment for 2009, and so on. You see, I have 416 observations, because it is just 22 countries multiplied by 13 observations. Before performing descriptive statistics and some visualization, we need some libraries like Tidyverse, DPR, 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 time series. I have to just to run these libraries. And after learning these libraries, I can just make some descriptive statistics. I'm going to begin by making descriptive statistics. Now, as you can see here, friends, this is my where I saved my panel data. This is the comment grouped by country and some lines. You see, this is to count the number of years. This is to, to indicate the minimum value in a gross domestic product. This is this comment is this one is uh, calculating a median for gross domestic pro product. This is PIB en français, produit bit. This, this comment is to calculate the mean, this is to calculate the maximum value, and this one is to calculate the variance, and this is for calculating standard deviation. If you want to, uh, to add another uh, comment, you have just to, to show like this. If, for instance, when you want to include mod, I like, like this, mod. Then I do like this. And now I save the result in this ST. This is just a name I gave to my results. Let's learn these comments. Just to calculate 
to calculate those descriptive statistics. And now when you want to To see the results, you have to use this command. This line here is to just to reduce the number after comma, and this is to print the results. And here you have to indicate the number you want to visualize or to print. Let's run this command because I have 32 countries. So now I just indicate the 32 countries. Let's run this command. now as you can see here friends you have it you see we have 32 countries and as the result here now there is nothing on mod i can i just I in, in, included mod to show you how you can add any other analysis you want because here you we see count here we see 15 country period minimum this is the minimum this is the median, this is the mean, this is the maximum, this is the variance, this is the standard deviation. I'm going to delete mode, just, it was just to show you how you can uh, add any function, if you want to add any function. And let's, uh, sorry, I'm going just to delete mode, because I just, it was just to show you how you can add any other function, I'm going to delete this one and if you want to do for other variables what you have to do is just to copy this comment and you indicate the variable for which you want to calculate some descriptive statistics now for instance when you are you want to do for inflation just you just need to copy the same comment and you just replace here pay by inflation okay friends this is for descriptive statistics for your panel data and as you see all statistics are calculated for each country if you want to analyze country by country you can use this comment for instance when you want to analyze for burundi the summary some descriptive statistics for burundi you can use this comment when you learn here you have summary of burundi you see now the minimum first quartile median mean third quartile maximum Okay, this, these are some descriptive statistic, statistics. If you want to um, calculate the variance for standard deviation, for instance, you just you have to. Uh, this is standard deviation, not a variance. Here it is standard. En français, c'est écartique, but this is standard deviation. I just to get the real low command here after this for instance when you want to calculate to test whether your data set is normally distributed or not you just need to indicate the test you want to use this is shapiro wiki normality test let's run this comment as you can see the people is got down five percent we can say the data set is or gross domestic product growth in balloon is normally distributed if you want to test the stationarity for instance for each one country, as you can see here, friends, you use augmented DQ for a test. Let's run this comment. As you can see here, friends, the p-value is greater than 5%, which means growth, uh, the gross domestic product in Burundi is not stationary or it has unit loot. Let's make a difference to see whether the first difference is stationary or not. Even though I make a difference, you see uh, the group of gross domestic product in Burundi remains not non-stationary. It remains it remains non-stationary. When, for instance, you want, you want to make a visualization for Burundi, uh, you use this command plot. This one. And this is the plot. Hello, friends. I'm showing how you can manipulate your low panel data by calculating, calculating some uh, descriptive statistics, statistics and some visualizations. And you, you can use also, you can make uh, for the whole the variable. For instance, when you want to make a box plot for 
close to message product you use this comment you see this is where i saved my data this is the variable i want to make um, uh, uh, box plot it, when you want to um, perform simple box plot you just need to learn this comment like this friends this is to see whether your variables are normally distributed or not but this is i'm working on the whole variable box plot for the whole variable as you can see here friends there are some outliers like this this comment allows you to add color on your log box plot you see this comment color let's run these comments you, you see how to look, to look like you see now the color has changed and you can also um, fill this space this one by adding this comment you see the comment which i add let's learn it i'm working on a gross domestic product i'm making some box plot or some analysis you can see now i have filled this box plot you can use any color you want uh, let's also add on this why um on this I, i'm going to add name on my lab i'm going to just indicate why lab label let's like by adding this color this comment you see this comment let's run this comment you will see the results now you see here friends the name i added on this ax you see it is here this is the pay dot under pay that means uh was domestic product for 32 countries this one this is the name and you can also add a title this is the, you see now i'm going to um, um add some comment on the previous ones now you see I, i'm going to add the, the title of my box plot i just need i need to add this comment i just uh, learn let learn this comment and you will see the results to add title when you want to add a, when you when you want to add title to your low box plot you have to use the function main now you see here an sd product and then to do from the pay this is analysis of gross domestic product for 22 countries from 2009 and 2021 now we can just make some box plot for all countries by countries now this is the comment which we allow you to make box plot for each country now you see i indicate my data set this is uh, country and this is the uh, gross domestic products and i have to specify that i want to use box plots let on this comment and you will see the results it takes time we have to wait a moment now this is the box plot for each country let's show you that means we must have 32 uh, box plots because we have 32 countries now as you can see here friends you see the box plot for each country now normally the names of country are here but because there are many and it is difficult to see them all of them and we can also uh, use color for each box plot and to you to do so this is the comment you can use when you want to feel uh with color those box plots and this is the comment let on this comment and we see the results because i add just i add this this comment feed let on these comments you will see the results and you see this is for instance this is for bene the next here is for Botswana. this one the next here is Burkina faso the next is for Burundi, but when you are looking at this box plot, you can see some countries have outliers. For instance, this this indicated that they are outliers. This also is outliers. This is for uh, indicating outliers. 
and when you can see also there are difference in domain of gross domestic product in 32 countries from sub-sahara as you can see but now it, as you can see here it looks like uh, it looks better than the previous box plot i used okay friends i think this video will help you to make some analysis for your panel data it was just to show you how you can make descriptive statistics and some visualization in r for your panel data i hope this will really contribute to improve your knowledge in panel data analysis and if you found this video helpful i invite you to share this video and to subscribe to my channel not to miss the next videos on panel data models and some other videos that i will produce thank you for watching this video this is the end of my presentation for next video bye